Nearly a year ago, Boris Johnson promised an oven-ready deal. With just over 20 days until we leave the European Union, it looks like that deal has been left in the freezer. With no deal still very much on the table, will the government backtrack on their promise? Or can they muster something up with only weeks to go? So currently there are three sticking points that need to be agreed upon. Both sides are concerned about who will be allowed to fish in UK waters. They need to decide how any agreement they reach will be enforced and the third obviously being Northern Ireland. So what would happen under no deal? According to the BBC, if there is no trade deal, it could mean higher prices in UK shops. There could also be delays as lorries bringing in products in would need even more border checks. Brexit supporters say leaving the EU will give the UK more freedom to strike trade deals around the world. When the UK was in the EU, it was automatically part of EU trade deals with more than 70 countries. Since leaving, it has made deals with more than 50 of those countries in order to continue to trade in the same way. It is unlikely that the UK will manage to do deals with all of the others before the end of the year. It is also in talks with countries such as the US and Australia, with which the EU does not have free trade deals but none of these trade deals has yet been reached. So first of all, I need to make a point. There is no such thing as no deal. I'm sorry for all you guys out there who are no deal Brexiters. Uh, I think that any trade deal or any Brexit deal is traitorous, but there is no such thing as no deal. I'll explain. There's gonna be negotiations for years to come. You think that the UK will suddenly ignore the EU? No, there will be talks regarding trade, climate change, immigration. There's eventually going to be deals. We are in a globalist world. So what's going to happen in January when we leave? First of all, people planning to move between the EU and the UK to live, work or retire would no longer be allowed to do so, obviously because the freedom movement will be scrapped. The UK will no longer make such big annual payments towards the EU budget, obviously. Arrivals from the UK will stand a different queue at passport control in EU countries. Businesses trading with the EU will have to deal with more paperwork and will lose benefits such as tariffs, etc. So what are your thoughts? Will we get a deal? Will it be a good deal? Do we end up with no deal? Drop your comments below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Turn Left because we need an independent media for independent voices.